Hey guys, in the past few weeks, I've been sharing with you wine recommendations and I've always been talking about food pairings. In this video, we're finally gonna get around to that. And we're gonna be doing something different this week. We're gonna be putting these wines into these brown paper bags so that we could blindly test and see which one we like better. We have one wine from the old world and the other wine from the new world. Tasting them blindly so that we could see which wine actually pairs better with our food today, which is going to be a torch salmon. And just to make sure that we're giving both wines a fair chance to be selected, we're working with two Chardonnays here. Both are priced between 400 to 500 pesos. actually didn't pour the wines, we had Janessa's sister do it for us. So no cheating, right? Yep, there's no way to cheat. So let's start with wine A. We're reading this top to bottom, so this is wine A and B. There's no way we could mix it up, just in case. Yep. Especially Mark, quite careless. <laughs> First glance, it's paler. Lighter. Light yellow, like melted butter. Yeah. Very fruity. Not as dry, but actually not the sweet kind of fruity. Usually when I drink sweet wines. She gags. No, not really. Very peri sour, definitely. I don't drink much white wines, mm -hmm. but I like it. Let's move on to wine B. Mm -hmm. A lot more yellow. Golden yellow. Like her hair? No, my hair's, I don't know, blonde. Like the liquids that come out. <laughs> this one smells a lot fruitier. A lot sweeter. But only by a notch lower. Yeah. Per... <laughs> I definitely drink a lot more wine than Janessa, but Janessa is like a super taster, I think. Girls. Yoli. <laughs> from Spain revealed. Yeah. Like Yoli, Janessa is a super taster. <laughs> That's a girl's that. thing. Um, you have more taste buds, I yeah. think. Like scientifically, too. Oh, well, that sounds about right. Have more <laughs> Not sure what I like better. I like this one better really? already. In terms of the dryness, mm -hmm. none of them are dry. Yeah, tasting. it's not dry. You can no, get actually, a bit of. This one gets a little drier. Because we're we're starting to aerate it mm -hmm. also. So shall we try it with the salmon? Yep. Yes, please. So I don't know if you have a favorite right now. Actually, for me, I'm not yet sure. Go. Oh. No, I find it too fishy. No. Why, man? The torch flavor is quite strong. Eh? Let's have the salmon with the A. Mm. I like that it's sour and balances off the fishiness. Sweeter after it is for Yeah. Me. This is sort of a YouTube Valentine's date for us. Okay, wine B. Wait, I'm Let's gonna... stop eating. <laughs> wine B. It's really sweet. For yeah, me. it's crossed over into almost sweet wine. Well, medium sweet wine with the salmon. For pairing, I'm gonna make a quick judgment that I like this to Thank pair. It's, it's a lot more subtle. It's a lot more well-rounded, I guess. I mean, yeah. kind of sweet, dry, sour than this one. I feel like it's a, it's a more casual drink. Um, maybe during the summer. So which one do you like better? If you're, this one. If you like the first wine better? But wine A uh, over wine B. I feel like the flavors are more intense. Do you have any guess which is which? It's just old world and new world. Yeah, right? there's France and there's California. Okay. France, wine A. Okay. New world, California. Okay. Something Halle Parker. <laughs> Thank you, sir. May I have a sip? From my point of view also, actually just seeing it also for me, mm -hmm. my guess was A was France also, and B would be California. We both had the same guess, so <laughs> let's find out. I don't know where's the fun in that though. There's no difference <laughs> Yeah, in no opinion. one's gonna be incorrect. If we're wrong... <laughs> then this video sucks. <laughs> so this is wine B. Yeah, it's wine B. There you go. Okay, so we have here Beringer Main and Vine from Sonoma in California. So we're correct. It is the New World Wine. Janessa knows this from the Try Guys. Yeah, they rank the cheapest wines. Yeah, the cheapest wines. Unfortunately, you know, this is one of the cheaper wines for them, but for us here, <laughs> at 400 pesos yeah. in SNR, it's not cheap yeah, anymore. It's not cheap and, um, anymore. It's reality. <laughs> Do you want another glass? <laughs> or am I going to be finishing that? No. Is this video too boring? Because we guessed it right. This wine 
is from Burgundy, one of the more famous wine producing regions. Momasan Cuvée Saint Pierre. Did they, you butcher the name? You're not sure. I googled it. <laughs> I kept googling it. I'm guessing you want more of this. Yeah. And I'm guessing you're gonna give me your Beringer. Yes. Yeah, I know her pretty well. <laughs> Both are between How 400 much? to 500. From Santis, I understand it's not the most accessible. But I think they have a good spread uh, from south to north for SNR. Again, if you're not a member, you can purchase it through the Metromart app and you can use my link below for 200 pesos off. Oh, really? Includes paid promotion. I wish. So, for pairing, we like this one. The Chardonnay from Burgundy, Mamasa from Cuvée Saint-Pierre. At least we have something in common this time. <laughs> yeah. What do you think we'll do the champagne one? Yeah. Thanks for joining us in this old world versus new world comparison, guys. And if you like this video, there's actually gonna be part two. Since we have salmon here, we thought we'd make the most of this to try two more wines, which should go well also for pairing. You'll catch that next week.